everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am once again on the floor. This just seems to be where I am most comfortable apparently. So, for today's video I thought I would expose myself and look at some old selfies, photos and just like comment on them. Um, I was gonna say like rate them like out of 10 but Probably not because your girl's got low self-esteem, so we probably won't be um, rating that high. So I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but I've tried to look back through tons of photos, which I found so lovely, looking back through memories and just trying to find some of the good and bad photos of myself um, that hopefully make me not come across as an actual freak and it's most likely that that is gonna happen. Um, but it's actually been really interesting to see how I have changed over the years, like my makeup, my hair, um, how I now look at myself from years ago to how I looked at myself then, um, which is so strange because a lot of these photos, well, not these ones in particular, but a lot of photos I was looking at, I was like, wow i actually look okay here like i like the way i look i like my hair i like my makeup my skin looks good and at the time i guarantee i would have hated everything about myself i would hate my skin my hair my makeup my clothes my weight everything so it's kind of insightful to be older and look back on a time when you thought oh i'm so ugly like this, you know, oh, like I hate myself, I hate everything about me, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of nice to see how much you've grown and I don't know, maybe accepted yourself. Not to say I don't look at myself now and have days where I'm like, oh, my skin is awful. Just, literally just before I did this video, I was like, my makeup is absolutely crap. And I was like, makeup's crap, hair's crap, really didn't want to do the video. But maybe in another 10 years time, I'll look back on this video and pictures and I'm like, wow, my skin looks on point. Why did I, why did I give myself such a hard time? So maybe that's a life lesson to not judge yourself so, so hard because it's never as bad as you seem and you might really appreciate th those times when you thought you weren't at your best if that makes any sense. Anyway, onto the good stuff. Let me get my iPad. Oh, I've got some pictures on here that I'm going to look at um, and just comment on and then I will stick them up here for you so you can see them. Really regretting this already because oh, some things are actually questionable. And I'm like, how did I even get friends or a boyfriend or any attention from anybody at these points in my time? Nevertheless, let's have a look. So let me find my photos. And the first photo is this one. Okay, wow. The first thing that I am noticing is the... My Chemical Romance poster in the background. Not actually myself, but the poster. And I'm pretty sure that's the Fallout Boy poster next to it. This was during, I'd say an emo phase, but an emo phase? Oh, no, I wasn't, never. Maybe. Um, but I actually like this picture of myself. I think my hair looks nice. The blue bra straps actually really annoy me when I'm looking at them because I'm like, why did I have a top on like that with blue bra straps hanging out? But for some reason, I actually don't mind this picture. I've got quite a nice facial structure. The chin is pointed. It's not as circular as it is nowadays. Um, I like that color on my hair. I used to wear this hairstyle all the time. Pretty sure this is, yeah, this is first year university and my ex-boyfriend took this picture. 
at the time and he got a lot of grief off the guy who owns this cap um when i posted this picture on facebook the guy was like yeah can i have my cap back and we were like okay yeah. don't have anything bad to say about this picture actually i quite like it okay the next one I don't even want to put that up, up up here because it is actually horrific. Oh, everything about this picture makes me want to go jump through this iPad and slap myself. First of all, I'm pretty sure it's my um, friend Danielle's mum that has taken this picture because we were going to a birthday party uh, pretty sure we were like 16, something like that. The outfit, the dress, the colour. Blue, again, the blue things are just not working for me. The dress, the, the blue is not my colour. The actual design of the dress is something you would maybe see on a 50 year old. Why did I think this was a good outfit? And the shoes, man. The bare legs, the shoes, the hair, the makeup, the face. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. I went to a party looking like this, like a, a birthday party. Was it in a pub? Oh, I hope not. My hair is horrid. First of all, I dyed my hair black because Demi Lovato dyed her hair black. Um, so yes, I am very easily influenced or was easily influenced at the time. Um, oh, just everything. I hate this picture. I hope Martin never watches this video because he is probably going to dump me if he sees this picture. I hate it. The eyeliner and I'm, I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I'm not wearing foundation. So it's just the eyeliner oh next this picture i thought i was the absolute dog's bollocks when i took this picture i swear to god i had this blazer on from top shop um i think i'm like 15 um must be with the black hair oh the hair looks pretty blunt so i'm guessing i've just got some sort of haircut uh this is my mum's bedroom, I think. And hair grips. I mean, it's a half up, half down, so we really haven't evolved much in the in the hair side of things, apart from um, embracing my natural hair. Yeah, the, the eyeliner. I actually don't mind this picture. Obviously, the posing is quite questionable. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe the lighting was better in my mum's room, I guess, than anywhere in the house. I don't know. But yeah, I don't mind this picture. Okay. Hmm. What do I say about this picture? Okay, there is a lot going on in this picture. We are sporting some red lipstick as we are today. Although the eyes are not too dark um, like they are in this photo. I obviously had a routine of trying to get my eye makeup as dark as I could. So I'm pretty sure I just cover my lid in black eyeshadow probably wasn't blended um you know a coal pencil underneath some mascara never did eyebrows at this point in time um as we can tell and yeah so i think i am probably about 18 here uh obviously we, we maintained the black hair um again my chemical romance poster behind me charmed poster in the corner and if you look closely charmed dvd box sets on the side behind the cup yeah i actually think i took this picture um like obviously i'm wearing like a a dress and my boobs look actually really good in that dress mm. uh, we've got some tan lines going on as well i think i took this picture wasn't even going anywhere wasn't going to a party or anything to dress up I think I just dressed up for the purpose of trying to impress my boyfriend at the time, my boyfriend in uni. Hi Dan, if you're watching. Um, 
yeah, I think I was just like, because this must be when he went home for the summer. This must be like our first couple of months of dating and he goes home for the summer. Um, and I was just like, oh, I'll upload a picture. I'll send him a picture and like, try to impress him with the most horrid hair. Like it is so jagged. The like chubby face. I'm pretty sure I put a bit of weight on it this time. Um, the black eyes, but he was my boyfriend at the time, so he must have found me attractive looking like this. So that was for you, Dan. Okay. Another photo, many, many, many years ago. Um, so precious, so young. Um, again, a lot going on, as you can tell, I oh, I loved Robert Pattinson and Twilight and Michael Jackson apparently. Um, yeah, so let's just discuss the wall behind me. In the right side of the corner, we have the new moon calendar with Alice and Jasper. Love that, was all about it. Used to write on every little time I was going to meet with my friends. Um, when did new moon come out okay so i'm like am i 15 why do i look like nine or something <sighs> god's sake well i must be because we've got the same hairstyle as the other picture with the half up half down and the clips in okay um so yes yeah, so we've got the new moon calendar we've got a michael jackson calendar because apparently one calendar wasn't enough at the time i obviously had a busy schedule and just needed a lot of space to jot down my appointments and acquaintances then we have the gigantic Robert Pattinson poster. He looks fit. Ain't gonna lie. Was Team Edward all the way. Um, and then if you scooch on over, you can see a smaller Robert Pattinson poster, which I'm pretty sure I pulled out of a magazine. And then I've obviously got a black pen and drew a love heart and the little arrow three love you sign. Oh, and there's a little, one of those Turkish good look eye things on the wall as well. Wow, that's the wall. Now me, how did I even take this picture? I must have like put my phone on a self timer and just put it somewhere. Um, yeah, the top I used to wear all the time, I remember. Um, I think I used to wear like a vest top under it and it was like a floaty crop top. Um, why did I dye my hair black? I mean, my hair now looks pretty dark, but I think it's like the contrast on a black t-shirt. I've just got like uh, one of Martin's t-shirts, so it's like oversized for me. Um, but why did I dye my hair black? And then it's so thin. Although I don't have a lot of black eye on at this time, so this is obviously before my black eye makeup phase. Obviously there's no My Chemical Romance posters on the wall, so we are definitely pre-emo phase. Yeah, and I just look like a little baby. My cheeks are so chubby. I guess I've always had chubby cheeks. And my skin looks really nice. Oh, to be young. Anyway. Oh, this one. I, another night that I remember. Um, this was, okay, so I am 17. 17 or 18? This is before uni, I know that much. Um, I'm pretty sure this is when William and Kate got married because I'm pretty sure we all had like Union Jack hats on before this. Um, but the reason I'm pulling this face is because um, a girl who I used to go to college with, she accidentally spilled her drink on me and it like on my face and like in my eyes so um, obviously all my creative black eyeliner has smudged um, and I'm pretty sure my eyes were stinging like mad uh, for a good five minutes and then my friend my other friend was just like let me take a picture while you're in despair so it's nice to have these memories <laughs> the dress I'm pretty sure it is from I want to say international if anyone remembers that shop um, but I can't be 100% 
The red belt, I'm not sure if it came with the dress or if I added that little accessory. <gasps> Very creative. Um, fashion has never been my forte. Yeah, and again, we've got no foundation, we've got no eyebrows, just black eyeliner. I mean, I actually was only thinking today, maybe I'll do a makeup look with no foundation. Um, because I see it, I saw a girl on Instagram my follower, she's called Jade. I'm not too sure of her last name, but she lives in Malta. She's like a Maltese blogger. Um, and her skin is gorgeous. She, it, I'm pretty sure she just has her natural skin. She doesn't put anything on it. She's got no foundation, uh, but then she obviously does her eyeliner, her lipstick, and she's stunning. So I was thinking earlier, like maybe I'll try a makeup look where I don't do foundation. Um, but 100% the eye makeup is going to be a lot better than what we have here, for sure. I literally must just have got ready and been like, done. That's what I'm going for. So this photo is good if I do say so myself. Um, the one thing I don't like about this photo is my hair. This is when I dyed my hair blue the second time and it was like a deep um deep sort of blue i really just that song deeper shade of blue just came to my head but i can't sing it because of copyright not that it matters because we are not monetized on this channel yet but i don't want to get any strikes anyway yeah this is in a travel lodge um probably about two years ago and i think i'm celebrating my 25th birthday with my friend kaylee um, we were going on it out. Yeah, um, my face is quite pale in this picture, but I think that's just the flash. Um, love this jumpsuit. Had to put in two safety pins, as you can see, just because it was very gaping. And I can't remember if, like, my itty bitty titties were gonna fall out, or if I just wasn't comfortable with that much cleavage on shore. Um, I can't remember. But I obviously decided to um, safety pin them up. Um, this is a jumpsuit from, I want to say Misguided. Yeah, I think so, Misguided, um, two years ago. But yeah, I like this photo. Um, got the red lippy on, um, makeup has improved, got the winged eyeliner, got the eyebrows. Yeah, I just don't like my hair. I liked my, I liked my blue hair, um, but I just, didn't realize how, like it actually did damage my hair. Um, even though we use like Olaplex, I used to put Olaplex treatments on it like literally once a week. The bleach did actually damage my hair, like all the little wispy bits um, and it looks really thin. Um, obviously it's quite thick with my natural curls. Um, I mean it is, if I straighten it, it is a lot thinner anyway, obviously. But I think the fact it's shorter and thinner yeah, I just don't like it. That's the only thing that lets me down with this picture. Otherwise, I'm looking pretty decent. Makes me realise that I haven't dressed up for a very long time. Um, yeah, and I think I'm also a bit of a catfish because I don't look this good in real life. <laughs> okay, this picture. I love this picture. I actually think I look really cute in this picture. Which is not me having a big head because I'm allowed to sit. You're allowed to pick yourself up. You're allowed to say nice things about yourself. Um... And I never really look at a picture and think, oh, I look, I look decent. Even when I'm taking pictures for Instagram, I will look at a picture. That, see, I've taken like loads and loads of pictures. Everybody does this. We look at a picture, like we'll pick the one we want, but then we'll just look at it so much that we end up hating it. And like, even though it's the best one out of the bunch, you're like, nah, don't like it. What a waste of time that was trying to take a selfie. Anyway, I love this picture. Um, I love my makeup. I love how minimalistic the eyes are like i pretty sure i've got eyeliner on but it's not a wing it's just like i don't even know how i did that pascal was decent with a with an eyeliner pencil um the lipstick color i really like i think it really suits me in this picture i've got a lot of color to my cheeks my hair looks nice it's a good color um i do remember this night um it was a night out again with my friend danielle Lots of memories with Danielle. We've been friends since we were three. Um, 
yeah, so we're on a night out. I think it was just me and her. Um, but I really like this picture. I look really cute. When was this? Um, 2014, 15? She was going back to uni. I want to say 2014. She was going back to Liverpool, sorry. Because that's where she used to live. Um, so it's either 2014, 2015. So it's either five years ago or six years ago. Um, and my jaw looks really good in this picture. I really don't like how like round my face is. Um, and over the years, it seems to just get rounder and rounder. I don't know. Like I'm hoping it stops because it doesn't need to get any bigger. That's for sure. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Back to an awful picture. Um, okay, again, a lot of chaos going on in this picture. Um, as we can see, we've got Charmed on in the background. That was my season eight box set um, on a very old television. So I am probably 13. Yeah, maybe around 13 here. Um, obviously, I have. it was a day when I decided to straighten all of my hair. At this point, I wasn't, I didn't used to straighten my hair every single day. I didn't do that until I was like 15-ish. Um, so this must have just been a day when I was like, I know, I'll just, I'll straighten my hair. Um, and then obviously put a few waves in it, which isn't too bad. The fringe isn't great. It's just kind of like, isn't it? Um, the cute little slide, don't mind that. Um, a lot of coats on the door of the bedroom. I had a very small childhood bedroom, so, and I mean very small, very small. Um, so yeah, everything was like cluttered. But I didn't have a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm a minimalist person. I think that's where it comes from, having a small bedroom. Um, but yeah. Uh, what can I say about this picture? I was like, no makeup on, I think. My under eyes look quite dark, but I don't know if that's just natural. Um, like, in my waterline, it looks quite dark. But I think that's just natural. I'm pretty sure I have, like, blondish highlighting, which I hate. It's the first time I ever got anything done to my hair. I'm definitely 13 because I was on my 13th birthday. My mum made an appointment with the hairdressers for me to get blonde highlights. And you had the highlight cap where you pull it on and have to pull your hair through, which is excruciating, by the way. Um, yeah, and it was awful, awful hair. But I'm 13, so what can you do? Although, if you put this to a picture of a 13-year-old now, the difference. 13-year-olds now have full face of makeup. Well, okay, I'm not speaking for all... 13 year old this is like a lot of 13 year olds you see on social media full face of makeup that they can do better than a grown woman their hair is stunning their clothes are like crop tops and jeans um yeah they literally look like 18. this is a 13 year old back in the day um but i don't regret that i don't wish i was like a 13 year old now i actually feel really sorry for, for kids now growing up with social media um so I'm glad I went through my childhood at this time. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, I had so much fun doing that. Um, it's so nice to look back at those photos and laugh and cringe and just think back. Like I said before, um, in I think my last video when I was answering questions or the one before that, I have such a bad memory um, when it comes to remembering things, especially like childhood. Um, and yeah, I have an awful memory. So to look back on photos is one of my favorite things to do. So when I was looking for these photos and I was looking through all of my pictures that I had, um, I mean, there were so many more that I can expose myself um, with um, as a freak and a catfish and a lunatic. Um, but I might do a part two or something in the future if you like this video. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment telling me which picture was your favourite and if you have any childhood pictures or pictures from last year or any time that make you cringe or that you like, um, 
looking back at ourselves you don't always have to hate it um so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye